following news headlines. Get balanced, accurate facts. Welcome to Joy Asanya Live this beautiful evening where we would be going all the way to Kano. It's, it's interesting things are happening. There are several uh, developing stories coming from that uh, since uh, the court sacked the, the governor, that uh, governor Abakabiru Yusuf of the NNPP, the, peop the new Nigeria uh, People's Party. So much has been going on, coming from uh, attacks and reactions, uh, not attacks, rather, rather protests, rather, and reactions, especially the recent comments by one of the panel of the tribunal, the governorship election tribunal, calling on, uh, calling the NNPP group, uh, that's the Kwankosia group, uh, a violent group. Uh, we will get into the whole matter when we come back from this short break. My guest is seated, Dr. Stanley J. Recently, he's been going, uh, be speaking for the NNPP more. Could it be because of uh, what's the internal problems going on in the NNPP? We'll get to that as well. It promises to be very interesting, but that's after this break. So stay with us. With me in the studio to discuss what's going on in the NNPP and the recent uh, proclamation of the court uh, in Kanu State is Dr. Stanley E.J. He's a national vice chairman, South South, of the new Nigeria People's Party. Thank you so much for being part of the program. Thank you very much. Thank you, Nigerians. And thank you for having me. The NNPP has been in the news for all the wrong reasons recently. It went from having your national leader, that's your national, your ca the candidate of your party, presidential candidate, first of all, being suspended. And uh, so attendant stories from there. It started there. And then the only governor that the NNPP had gotten, the court has sacked him recently uh, from that seat. How is the NNPP feeling right now? Not to mention uh, during that um, um, verdict uh, uh, this proclamation, one of the judges considered the Kwankosia group a terrorist. So is it bandits? You would tell me better so that because I want to know how you're feeling right now. You, f you feel like you're being hit from every part of the of all sides, really. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, for those perspectives. Mm. But I will tell you something. There is this local adage that the tree that bears the sumptuous fruits mm. received the most pellets. NMPP is a party 
to beat when it comes to elections in Nigeria. And then people is founded on truth, on love, and with dignity of the leader. It might interest you to know that Nigerians are mourning. Nigerians are mourning? Yes, what happened in Kano. It's not just the people of Kano. Because what happened on that day is a picture of the fear Nigerians had entertained of the APC government. You see, when judgment was murdered on the altar of injustice, what do you expect the people to do? The people mourn. A situation where a judge will give judgment without looking at the relevant articles, relevant laws guiding that election, it leaves much to be desired. It is an obvious fact that that judge did not do justice to the very good people of Kano State. More so, when the judge left what he was supposed to do and delve into an area that um, he knows almost little about nothing. The Kokwansia group is a, an ideological driven organization. I'm a proud Kokwansia. I can see that by your outfit. Yes, thank you. And Kokwansia means Amana. Amana means trust. People you can trust your life with. Mm. Tell me which organization in Nigeria have done what Kwakwansia has been able to achieve in the past 16 or 20 years. I mean, we're not campaigning, but when no, you keep saying not. that, what, what, what do you mean? What has the Kwakwansia or the Kwakwansia yes. group really done? Thank you very much. Good. Kwakwansia, the movement founded by His Excellency Dr. Rabi Musa Kwakwanso, is the only organization funded to provide civilized way of life for its people, for Nigerians. The Kokwasia group, the current, the, the, the current chairman of APC, mm. was a member of Kokwasia. You see, it goes to show that those who eggs are cracked for them by benevolent hearts should learn to be humble. That man became deputy governor. Whatever he became in his life, he got it through the Kokwasia movement. His deputy, when he was governor, same, who is now contesting a lost election. So, why will a man who has benefited from a structure go about looking for opportunity to destroy that thing that gave him a future? That is hypocrisy to the highest order. It is on record that it is only the Kwakwansia movement through the effort of His Excellency had sponsored Nigerians abroad. What you people, people have to understand is that Kwakwansia do not just sponsor people. They look at the critical areas that are certain Phenomenon are lacking. Okay. We send people for piloting, piloting engineer, medicine, medical engineering, machinists, in critical area of the economy. That is the area Kokwansia sponsors these people. Kokwansia is interested in the well being of Nigerians. That is why it's not limited to Kano alone. I am from South South Nigeria and I am a, a proud Kwakwansia because I know that that is the only organization, political social organization in Nigeria today that is ideologically driven to provide service for humanity that take care of Nigerians for Nigeria irrespective of where you come from. Okay. That is the only socio-economic 
uh, organization today in Nigeria that is not driven by religion or ethnicity. That is the only organization today in Nigeria that can provide a platform where anybody who desires to achieve political relevance mm. and leverage can key into and he's welcome irrespective of who he or she is. That is the only organization in Nigeria today that care for gear child education. That care for gender balancing. The only organization today where people can go and assess scholarship. Irrespective of where you come from. Tell me any Nigerian governor or former head of state that have a political movement that has survived him after he has left government. It is because Kwakwasia is founded on truth, on justice, on okay. equity, on fair play, and on love and on peace. But that didn't help the one, one, uh, 165,663 votes that were allegedly not stamped, uh, which is a uh, tenet of the Electoral Act. I mean, you have oh. just, I, I allowed you to talk about um, all the beautiful and noble uh, um, parts of the Kwankosia movement. Emotionally, if that's what we have to focus on, I'm sure the courts will say, yes, this Thank is good. But you when you go into the nitty gritty, the fact of it is that there were 1, uh, 165,663 votes that were invalid. As a journalist. As a journalist. Proudly have, so. Have you read the same electoral ads you are referring to now? I have. You have. If you have read it, if you have read 63 2 mm. of that electoral ads, it is stated unambiguously that at the point of collation, once the electoral umpire, which is the uh, 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 polling. Uh, agents and the INEC staff are able to verify right. that this ballot paper is genuine. He has no other option to accept it. As far as the other agents of the other political party do not have any reason to say no. Let me remind you that in every polling unit, every political party is represented by their agents. Of course. The police are there. However, uh, excuse uh, me, well, excuse no, before you go further, there, were, there were some me, excuse agents me. that could not that were not um, verified. I remember prior to the elections, uh, the, some polling units did not have agents. Some parties not, could not, not not a ruling party. APC was the government the party in mm. Kano. Right. If they had had any misgiving. They would have written their reports or attach it. But they didn't do so. Even at the collection center, they didn't do so. So how will a judge not look at that and then pass judgment mm. based on the fact that oh, these ballot papers were not stamped? He would have equally go to the laws which states that there could be other reasons why they are not stamped. Do you think that? Markets. Do you think that the NNPP uh, gave strong enough reasons why it could not have been stamped? Because uh, no. section <laughs> section sixty one. I want to quote something mm. now of uh, the Electoral Act twenty twenty two. Uh, also provides that the presiding officer shall, after counting the votes at the polling unit, enter the votes called by each candidate in a form to be prescribed by the INEC, as the case may be. Section 62 of the Electoral Act provides that the form shall be signed and stamped by the presiding officer and countersigned by the candidate or their polling agent where available at the polling unit. I just needed to also say that for context so yes. that people understand that in Indeed, um, the court was right to you, in, you insist cannot, that. You cannot read that in isolation. What do you mean by in isolation? Yes, because you have only just read... An excerpt. An, an, an excerpt. Exactly. You would have read it through to find out that there it is clearly written. Of course, there are cases where... Yes. There, there are, are cases, cases where there are no stamp. There what? are cases where there could be no biro. That is expected. 
No biro. No biro, yes. No stamp. No, no stamp. Biro. All the elect uh, uh, election empire need to do is to be satisfied that this ballot paper is a ballot paper that comes from them. Let me remind you. In those cases where, let, let me remind wait, you. May, I, may I interject a bit? In those cases where there is no biro or no stamp, as no you markings, just, yeah, or no mean. markings, mm. uh, what what could be the reason? Because those are those um, those those are is like going to farm without your equipment. No, those are all the things you need. Uh, Stationery is the like first thing. Just like I said, you need to go there. Are you under duress? And if you are under duress, there's also a process of complaining. Uh, or, 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 uh, if you are under duress, for not being question. stamped. So. Who what? counted? Who counted those votes? Who counted? Yes. Uh, well, I, the INEC staff. Is, was it counted by NMPP? It, they weren't counted. The okay. number was not. They the, were counted. The, Excuse the, me, ma'am. No, they were the number counted. is not in dispute here. Yes, and duly entered. So, if they had any problem, it should have been INEC. It should have been INEC, and not just that. <coughs> the agents of APC would have sent in a report. Mm. They didn't do that. Don't forget that the governor did not contest this election. The governor, having known that Abba Yusuf defeated him, NMPP defeated APC, congratulated the governor. Oh, but of course. I said he wasn't contesting. No, that's it. Really it, it, it was, it that was the he party. He was never party. Excuse me. You see, let us, it is the party that contests the election. Let us educate Nigerians. Yes, exactly. Uh, and I'm uh, ready for that, uh, Doctor. You see, you have to the party that, that contests the election. He cannot even benefit in a process he did not participate. Why not? He wasn't the party to the case. And yet the party went to court. The party, I said he as the governor, mm. did go to there, there's a Supreme Court ruling over that. Yeah. He could never have benefited from a process. He did not participate. Let's put things into context now. Who are we talking about? Are you talking about the APC candidate? The APC candidate, yes. Okay, that he because he has already congratulated Abba Yusuf. It didn't matter, and he, he was not party to the suit. Right. Okay. In, uh, Going by what you, you're saying now, it, it means uh, the party also has no right to go to court to to contest that judgment. The party, That's the uh, election. The, nobody's saying that. Uh, you see, that is the beauty of democracy. Exactly. Mm. The beauty of uh, the beauty of democracy is that if any party feel aggrieved for whatever reasons, he is free to go to court. Just like we now have gone to appeal court, right? To say that justice was not properly done to our matter. Beauty about democracy. I agree. That is the beauty of democracy. Mm -hmm. So nobody is arguing or fighting over why did A or B went to court. What we're talking about here is the process the justices took to deliver their judgment. Because it was, was it, virtually... Was it, was it fair? Do they do their research very well? Do they read the INEC guideline? Do they read the INEC acts? Are they the empire? INEC have duly satisfied uh, they were duly satisfied with the conduct of the election mm. both party agreed it was fair and f it was free and fair and the credible the political party apc did not agree why, why why do they not agree because the, maybe these discrepancies that was not part of their, that was not part of their prayers mm. That was not part of their prayers. But there was one the part of their prayers is also the fact that uh, um, Abba Kabir Yusuf was not a member of the political party. <laughs> if you follow, if you follow, that is the, laughable. It may you be see, laughable. Can I tell you to court with it until the political class decide to be noble men and state men who keep having this. Kind of conversation. Well, when I, you say, tell you I had to giggle there because when you say if, political if you, class, yes. you fall into yes, that I class. do. Yes, I am. Right. I am. So what's am. going on? Why have you people not uh, embraced all you have said? We we have. That is why we looked at the presidential election, and we say we are not contesting it. That makes us statement. Do you understand me? You cannot take what you do not have. Mm. All right. APC knows that they were randomly beaten. I don't, then, think, I don't think the number is in context here. 
You say what? The number. You do have the numbers. Yeah. Well, what, to take away 165,000 plus votes of a candidate in the altar that they were not stamped. When there is a regulation that said such a scenario could happen and once the INEC uh, returning officer is satisfied, it should be, uh, it should be counted. Well, um, there's also, if you, have, if you have this and you know that uh, it's within your rights to not to at, at all point stamp or have this uh, uh, stamp are you to supporting, make it no, are no, no. You supporting I'm, I'm just saying that um, there was also an accusation although i saw that on social media but you're here now to give me a proper explanation to it where it was said that the nnpp got complacent and that they didn't even believe it would hold water so they were not represented well they weren't even f following court cases and the weaknesses were very minimal to actually push forward this do you need to do bring, you think do you need do you, do you need to bring a million people to show that white is white if, if i mean it's it's a, a state a state no, like Kanu. It, 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 Kanu, you of all people you should see, know that kanu is well contested you see, you are, you any you government you whether the one bring, in power you don't, you don't have to bring sentiments i'm just saying uh, no. that kanu is a very important state to nigeria it, it is you cannot undermine is that why it is, is that why apc want to do the undoable you know that's possible capture the place? it's possible what they could not get from the ballot box, they, they want to get it from the, the back door. It is what Nigeria's democracy seems to be about. Litigations have been have determined our elections. But did and you that take is it bad. Did, did the NNP because people, the good people of Kano states right came out of a mass? Did the N, did, did the NNPP take this court case seriously? Why not? If not, they do not have representative representation in court. We did. They do not. We did. The issue here is that there was nothing to this case other than frivolities. It was frivolous mm. for you to pick 165,000 votes. Outside that, there's equally a provision in that same act that says that where the differences between the, a winner and a loser is above or beyond this threshold that that should be a run and in this case too that obtains why did the judge not ask for a run why did he they not ask for a run so there is something more than made the eyes in fact we are calling on the national judicial council to set up a fine finding uh, committee mm. to investigate why what and for what reason did those not apply in this instance if the law states fully that in a situation where you have this number of votes above or below that this is what you should obtain that is the INA guideline exactly so why did the judge or the judge the, the justice why did they ignore that in a very sensitive state like Kano. Let me tell you something Nigerians don't know. In the whole of northern Nigeria today, only Kano state is peaceful. And that happened because somebody laid that foundation. Rabbi Musa Kokwaso laid that foundation. With all the states surrounding Kano being in crisis, only Kano is re enjoying relative peace today. Maybe. Nigerians should not for any reason, allow Kano to burn. That is why when that judge called the Kwakwansiam movement mm. a terrorist organization, we did not take that kindly. It is unfair to the people of Kano. It is unfair to some of us who are not from Kano, who are Kwakwansia members. Okay, well, I, would, I would just... I, that I is a very like, charitable statement like, to make. I feel like you did not address something. What was Is that? it true that you had just a single... Um, witness to give you just alluded you just agreed with me that scan is a very important i am not i am not the lawyer mm. but if the lawyer feels very strongly that with one witness it has a very strong case to present mm. so be it so what would you say about people who felt that the nnpp just barely defended uh, the petition with um 
very feeble. Like, I, like I said, you call it feeble. But there's nothing, somebody said, a candidate of a party is not a member of that party. Isn't that frivolous? Well, the electoral act gives, gives certain, stipulates certain time frame for a member to contest did in a political INEC, party. Did INEC not clear him for the election? It's not within INEC. It's it within is within the, the power. In fact, there's a judicial pronouncement to that effect mm. that it is an internal affairs of the political parties to present who is their candidate. Once the person meets the criteria, mm. I, I, we we have precedent in in some other tribunals. It's been struck off as a pre-election matters. Yes. Others would insist. So why are they bringing it, it now? I'm, I'm why are they bringing it now? I ask the question. So that is, part, that is part, yes. that is one of the reasons why I told why, you. Why why are they bringing it up here? Because in some in some instances, the the law is also quoted. It's pre you know, if, it's if, pre-election matters. If a man has a problem with the, you, it is within the it is within if the a man has political a party. With you. And I'm asking you now, why NNPP? But we're going for a short break. <laughs> when we return, we will talk about why NNPP, if indeed uh, Dr. Stanley is alleging uh, that um, he's, the party is being witch hunted by the APC, why? We'll be right back after this short break. Welcome back. We are still discussing Kano State, NNPP, and um, the uh, developing stories there. We are still with Dr. Stanley E.J., the National Vice Chairman, South South, of the NNPP. He has given us a good background as to how the party feels. But he, in his statement, also went to say that some things within that judgment uh, was obviously uh, not intentional not to be in their favor if that is the case i had ended by saying why the nnpp so i bring that question back why do you think you're being targeted yes we're being targeted because kano is a very important state in nigeria kano is the only state in nigeria that enjoyed 44 local governments center of commerce all right Kano, when you talk about the police of the north, anybody that holds Kano is holding the heart of, Can of the northern Nigeria. And that is why we must be very careful so that we don't inflame, you know, add more injuries to what's already happening in Kano State. Exactly. Could that be why uh, the, the judge referred to the Kwankusia group as terrorists that statement is quite unfortunate it's quite unfortunate but you can you know also why? see you can do, also do you know why? Do you know why? Do you in know the why? way that judgment was was given mm. it was virtual it was the, uh, for the first time we saw a virtual <coughs> judgment so <laughs> it could be out of fear you out of fear for what have they been ever have they ever been attacked let me tell you something my dear for the first time in the history of nigeria mm. A government disciplined his own. When the young man, the commissioner, who
who was alleged to have made that statement, when it came out, that statement did not represent the Kwakwansia movement. Hmm. Not or the, the stance of the governor. Yes, not the stance of the governor. The governor went ahead and did what? And suspended or even sacked that commissioner. That is to show the caliber and the personality of the governor. And that was enough for anybody that said he entertained any fear to have been rest assured that his life is secured in Kano State. But well, I God passed them. <laughs> I because like, I, like that, I will tell you something. I like that Nigerian too. I, I will tell you something. What happened in Kano and the statement attributed to the judge over Kwakwansia was to inflame passion and inflame anger and then maybe people will enter into the streets then they will declare state of emergency people did go to the streets those that went to the streets can you actually say that they are not the people of Kano? they are the people of Kano. okay yeah. there is no stamp of kawansi on their body there is actually they are the people of Kano State. Mm. However, you and could, you whichever could way it is, the red cap, if, if the, the red people, caps. if the people are not comfortable or not happy after they have stood in the sun in the rain to cast their vote for a candidate of their choice, and somebody have gone through the back door to procure judgment, you think the the right thing for them to do is to sit by and watch injustice be meted out to them? It's not possible. But I tell you something. Because NMPP and the Kwakwansia movement is a peaceful organization. They conduct, they conduct themselves in a manner that is not uh, what the judges expected. And not what the APC, rather, government expected. I want to tell you that when you like or you love your governor, you will listen to him. Of course. As soon as those skirmishes, or rather those peaceful rallies started, the governor went on air and asked the people to remain calm. calm and that he believes in the judiciary. He knows that judiciary will do the right thing. Mm. We have only passed one leg, which is, you know, uh, the tribunal court of first uh, instance there is the court of appeal and there is the supreme court we have precedents in nigeria where people went to supreme court as far as supreme court and still got justice ours will not be an exception oyetola is there as a reference point adeleke is there as a reference point wiki is there as a reference point uh, Amechi is there as a reference point, and so on and so forth. Do you understand me? Yes. So, we are lo a law abiding organization as Kwakwansias. The Kano, the peace loving people of Kano, are equally very, very law abiding because they love their governor, they love Kwakwanso. Whatever they tell them to do, they will do. And because Kwakwanso is a statesman. He asks his people to remain calm and they listen to him. Well, this calm has also elicited um, another kind of reaction from uh, your Southwest chairman, I think, Alaji Abbas Akande Onilewura. I don't know if you're familiar with the name, mm. who is accusing Kankwaso of having sold um, the NNPP uh, to, to APC. And uh, speaking about uh, uh, how how Kwankuso has been hobnobbing with this government, it's only possible that this is one of those negotiations uh, to sell Kanu State, an, an important state, just as, it's as, it's as only as Nigeria. Kanu, it's to, only Nigeria here. To the APC. It's only Nigeria here. People will just wake up, or somebody will just wake up and make an allusion. And the media will run with it. 
he called for a press conference. And somebody the, the as man, important the, as the NNPP... Man, the man we are talking about NNPP, has been expelled from our party. So he has no local standing to talk about NNPP. He's been expelled. Okay. In fact, I only just wanted to add flavor to your question. Mm. That is why I... You are responding yeah, to responding. it at all. If not, he does not exist. By law, he doesn't exist. Well, he, committed, he committed anti-party activities. And MNPP has a constitution that says anybody who commits anti-party activity will be invited to the disciplinary committee. This gentleman you talk about were invited to the disciplinary committee. Mm. They were found guilty. And their, committee yes, and their activity. cases were referred to NWC, who referred the case to NEC. And NEC expelled them. Was it expelling or suspending? They were suspended the first by the NWC. Mm. Okay? And they it, had a counter suspension it, of your no, they of cannot the national leader. They had already, see, they have already been suspended. They refused to turn up. That's why they were expelled. Mm. And in our constitution, if you are suspended or even expelled, you will appeal. When you appeal, your appeal will run its course. And at the end of the day, one of the organs, if NWC found you culpable, right. and NEC said no, forgive him. Are you getting me? NWC will not say no to NEC. And if NWC and NEC found you culpable, and National Convention says no, forgive him. So you can see that there are stages. There are stages. Why did they not follow those procedures? Yet you digress. Because, Dr. I'm Dr. coming, ma'am, because they are recipient sinners. They are reprobates. They are reprobates. Now let's go back to the crux of the matter. It, it, one of those um, accusations that was sent, that was made ab ag against uh, uh, Senator Rabiu Kwankoso was that he was hobnobbing with the, the present administration. He did not counter his, his, um, his loss. He, in the in, in in the tribunal mm -hmm. like other political parties it was obvious that he was he was friends with the apc mm -hmm. in truth um we also saw in the media as, as mm -hmm. well that kind of friendship engagement going on with the apc and here we are having the apc um take over kanu which was the only gov uh, state the NNPP had. I mean, you can understand so why people can find a connection. I, I would put the record. What space. happens to that friendship that the NNPP or your national, your leader, Kwanko, so had with this administration? What is going on? Thank you very much. You see, you cannot plan something on nothing. Of course. Otherwise, that is the void. As at the time, His Excellency was invited by the president to a meeting in France and another leg in Nigeria here. The president informed the National Caucus right. that the president wanted to see him. Kukwansu informed the National Caucus and we gave him the go ahead. The go ahead to go and have a meeting, that meeting with the president. When he came, he told us the outcome of the meeting. And a decision was taken. Again, the president invited him over what was happening in Kano. There are all media issues. Mm -hmm. And it will interest you to know that after that parley with the president and the former governor, at least relative peace returned to Kano states. Even though there were speculations that he was being considered for minister. You see, was that, that what did you call it? Speculation. Speculation. Did it happen? But was it all, was it also I in ask the you, I asked you now. Did it happen? Was it brewing? No. Did it happen? Eventually didn't. But was so it if it didn't happen, that means it was never it, that, po po possibly that was not what the meeting was all about. You see, people speculate. Mm. Could it be the journalism to you know 
speculate. Uh, okay. So now you want to attack the, the profession. But my I, question I'm is, my question is, let me ask you a question. Could there be animosity because he refused, or what happened that he did not accept that ministerial position? If what the speculation allegedly the, like, like was, said, was indeed I am uh, not happening, I am not in that meeting. Right. I was not part of the meeting. Is it possible? I, why will I speculate? Mm. That's a crime. What okay. I know is that the president had meeting with our leader. And there is no law in NMPP mm. that says a member of our party... Your leader approached you people to no, say I, the president I is reaching coming. out. What did he say? I'm coming, because you're beating around. There is no way the president will invite anybody and he turns him down. You will, you will go and listen to him. True. Kokwansu has a lot to offer this country. As a former minister of defense, as a former senator, as a, as a former governor, as a former House of Rep member to the position of uh, deputy... Uh, uh, and I personally believe he would have been a good addition to the cabinet. Well, Don't get defensive. Like you are getting defensive. That is why I said, that is why I said, everybody, including yourself, is speculating over what their meeting was I'm not all speculating. About. I just want you Kwa to clear didn't come out. Kwa so didn't come out to tell you I've been screened for ministerial appointment. Neither did uh, His, uh, His Excellency, the President of Federal Republic of Nigeria, come out to tell Nigerians that, oh, I have offered Kwa a ministerial appointment. But was it in the burner? You, it is, you are the one saying so. Okay, Dr. Stanley. That's why I said you are speculating. Now, now let's go. Let's go to this. Is it possible that um, maybe the NNPP when did not send reinforcement or do their due diligence during that tribunal to win intentionally, just so that the APC gets their way? That's what something they call fishing. You are just fishing around this question. Ah, well, you're, because, you're a member of your political I party. Have, I have told you're you. A member of your political party had that. a media <laughs> parley. A media <laughs> parley. This member that you claim has been suspended. Yes. And, well, still can call call for a media parley as, on what? Her, as the chairman of the Southwest. Who's Southwest? I was talking about an internal who problem. Gave, well, who, internal crisis of? within the NNPP and you refute I have it. told you before. Right. In this that program, there's no parallel government, there within, no parallel government within, the within the NNPP. And yet, uh, um, uh, what's his name again? Alaji Abbas Akande Onile Wura. I mm. apologize if I'm not calling your name right. But he had a media parley. Where he insisted that Congo uh, source have not been with the APC is the reason why they lost because it, it has nothing to say. Right. So he just wanted to say something to win up sentiments. You know, you you you, you look at the man, the personality of Kokwanso, and then you you feel that after all the effort of that man, when we came into old NNPP, it was a dead political party. Mm. With no structure. You did not know about NMPP before, did you? I mean, I had heard about it. As one of the many political parties as, at the time. Yeah. But they have no single structure in Nigeria. When Kokwaso came into this party, he brought in a group called TNM. Mm. Outside Kokwansia. And breath fresh Oxygen. Uh, let me get something straight. Is it Kwankoso that brought the TNM or the Kwankoso came with the Kwankosia group? The TNM was also merging and the old. He was equally the leader of TNM. Oh, okay. Okay. And he brought life. He started opening offices. Spending his own personal resources. I had somebody on the show who also said that uh, no money was spent <coughs> on Kwankoso's purse and it was the collective contribution of everybody. But we have as played him, enough. We've played much enough. We've played much, enough. Um, uh, Dr. Stanley, how much he contributed. Dr. Stanley, we are, we're playing too much. Let's go straight to the matter. Yeah. What's next for the NNPP? Um, your, your governor has been sacked by the tribunal. Um, and, and what, what's really next? And, and you, this internal issues you still claim does not exist is hurting, is hurting the, the your constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Allow any aggrieved person in Nigeria who desire to seek justice if you felt that one court had not done justice 
to him. So, there are about three legs to governorship election matters. Exactly. You have the court of first instance, which is the tribunal. Mm -hmm. You have the appeal court, and then you have the Supreme Court. We have just had the judgments of the court of, uh, the court of first instance, and we felt aggrieved. We felt that justice was not given. That is why we have approached the Court yeah, of appeal. appeal. And we know that God's willing that we will get judgment and reclaim our stolen mandate, which was freely given to us by the pe good people of Kano State, who came out of a, a mass, stood in the sun, in the rain, to give us a million and 16,000 votes, which no other, even the presidential election, nobody had that figure in one single state. Let us look at it just fully. In Kano states, during the presidential election, we won Kano with the widest margin. Right. Senatorial election, we had two seated seats. House of Reps, we cleared it. I think we lost only one. In House of Assembly, we had 40 of the 44 local governments. So how come it is only the governorship election that the people of Kano will slack? Mm, but you did admit also that um, at the time when, when uh, the elections held, um, so much was against the NNPP. You even uh, talked about, uh, at the time, I think you talked about your logo that was not visible. Yes. Yes, and, and, and all of that. Do, do you think um, that was coordinated? I remember asking you at the time that, how is it that Kanu did so well, i um, sorry, yes, NNPP did so well in Kanu, mm -hmm. and yet you claim that that same ballot papers did not do well in other states because of the blood, I will remind you what I told the, you. The blood um, logo. That there was conspiracy. In other states. If we were that else was Kanu. That conspiracy is what I've just played out. So there's a continuous conspiracy against the NMPP. Against the NMPP. Because they know that Kwakwanso had the world with her. He has Nigerians he did? Yes. Supporting him. And Nigerians know that not until the personality of Kokwenso, the person of Kokwenso comes to the center, he will provide that needed synergy for Nigeria to leave this conundrum of impossibility. Of impossibility? Yes. Really? Are, we not, are you not feeling the pain? What pain? Did Kwakwenso not also... A promise the removal of your subsidy? Well, he wouldn't have done it this way. Okay, that's what you say. Yeah. But, 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 but removal, right. removal of subsidies, removal of subsidies. Everybody cries but, for it. Right. Everybody craves for the removal of subsidies. Right. Because but, but, but let's go back to I'm this election. Back. The same APC government mm. told us that subsidy was a crime, was a fraud. Mm, at the time. At the time. And then you go, they change their mind. No, oh, they change their mind. It seems so. so they swallow their, 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 their vomit. It, it, it seems so. So, you, you, are, <laughs> you, you see, <laughs> let me tell you something. Before you throw stones or more at anybody, first of all, look at your own. There's an adage in my play that says, before you break somebody's head, touch your own. You see, lies, they are temporal relief. Mm. Over the time, you need a million baggages of lies to continue to with continue that with one. It. So APC had been known to be a party that dwell, sleep, wake up, lying on sentiments. On sentiments? Yes. Lying on the physics. Well, they have a tribunal judgment that mm. has given them, with their sentiments, has given them a, a governor. And another, and, and another court of competent jurisdiction will do justice. Okay, so what what what's what's next? Like what I, I asked, what's next for the NNPP? I really want to get into uh, your defense now against this judgment. What is uh, the um, 
What, what I mean, I saved you. <laughs> Nami, they have said. Nami, they have said. Dr. J, you've always known, known that I'm, I'm the village people that they said. <laughs> they said you. So what do you Allow have? us. We have our own legal team. They are studying the judgment. Okay? They will put up their defense to that judgment. Already, Nigerians from different persuasions mm. have looked at that judgment and agreed that there was injustice. Exactly. Different legal luminaries, different jurists mm. have come on air to say no, there was miscarriage of justice. We've also seen others who justify the justice. So no, when you say those, Nigerians, those who, those who when you that. say Nigerians, I need that. you to say maybe some Nigerians. Those who did that. Because in, indeed it's a democracy. So yeah. it's good. It will be mixed everybody, reactions everybody is to free. the information. Yes. Everybody is free to opine his uh, opinion. opinion. Mm -hmm. What is important here is that your opinion, is it right or wrong? Because what goes, ar go goes around Comes around. Comes around. Especially in the judicial system. I agree. <laughs> what I know is that today, every Nigeria has their eyes on the judiciary. Right. So, the, that judicial institution, which was the pride of every Nigeria, mm. which is still our pride, we hope that they will stand up to the reality of what Nigerians are saying about them because that is the only hope of the common man okay and that is the only thing people like you and i can rely on can only rely on exactly dr stanley j before i let you go um uh, there's also news uh, that um the nnpp is approaching or petitioning uh, the, uh, the judge in 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 the the panel one of the judges i think uh, I, I can't get the name right now to the Nigerian Judicial Council and uh, permit me again, I'm acting like a village people that they sent, but I, uh, you are, you're petitioning the Nigerian Judicial, the, the judge to the Nigerian Judicial Council and yet you're going to the tribunal for appeal and we've heard uh, some, some very um, unprintable words that the NNPP has used to describe the Nigerian judiciary at the moment. Do you still consider uh, the, 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 there would be judgment because let me correct you <coughs> NMPP in, had not in any way impeached on the character of the judicial system in Nigeria we still believe that the Nigerian judiciary will do justice to what has happened in Kano that is why okay let me quickly give you that bent bent justice benson anya is the one who uh, is being petitioned to the nigerian judicial because council we Wait, have go ahead we, we have uh looked at the whole scenario and felt that there was a deviance the man left what he had come to do and then start casting aspersion on groups on the people of Kano. We felt very strongly that that should not have been the case. Sure. So if we have approached the National Judicial Council, that is the right thing to do than taking the laws into our hands. Of course. Thank you so much for, for being part of the program. Uh, unfortunately, we've run out of time, but I've had, like always, I always have a wonderful time with you here on the program. So, Dr. Stanley J has, uh, has been uh, speaking with us on the National Vice Chairman. National Vice Chairman. I got that. I got that, Dr. Stanley. <laughs> Dr. Stanley is the National Vice Chairman, South South of the NNPP. Uh, we've had a wonderful discussion talking about uh, NNPP, Kanu State, and uh, um, what to expect next. But this is it for Joy Asanya Live today. We'll be back tomorrow with so much more. Do have a wonderful evening.
yes, there is news on your device. But hearing an analyst's perspective is the icing on the cake that Daybreak Africa provides. Break. I mean, start your day with prompt analysis of the latest news. Trends. Politics. We have to go back to that regional system. That is the foundation of this country.